Hello soldiers, welcome back to our YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to solve Alma Betterwards module 1 that is Python for data science and the topic is self project 2 functions. So let's get started. Problem 1, create a function which takes in an encoded string and returns a dictionary according to the following example. Here in this thing, you can see when we pass this encoded string, we have to get this dictionary so in this encoded string you can see uh, this is a first name then we are having zeros after that we are having last name after that we are having id so let's see how we are going to solve that thing so i'm just going to get the encoded string here here what i'm doing i'm just going to pass this thing in this function here first i'm going to split with the zeros so i'm just going to show you how it will be looking when we split with the zeros so here you can see i'm just going to run this thing So let me print this thing. Here you can see we will be getting this thing. If we pass this encoded string, if we split, we will be getting like this, right? Here is an empty string right there, right? To remove that, here I am using this for loop to remove this empty string. After removing, I'm just going to pass through this dictionary here. First name will be coming. So I'm using indexing. So this one will be the first name, then last name, then ID. So this is how we did. Right. Now we are moving to problem number two. Create a function that takes in n a b and returns the number of positive values raised to the nth power that lies in the range of a comma b inclusive here you can see this n is a power which we are going to give as an input and a and b so the range will start from a till b so in this example you can see so 2 is a power so here you can see if two here the n which we give like it should be if we solve this thing like here you can see 7 square the value is 49 which is in between 49 and 65 and here 8 square I got 64 which is in between 49 and 65 so this is what we have to do here you can see so i just i'm just going to create a function here power ranger i'm going to give the input values here count equals to zero here i'm using for loop underneath i'm using if if statement here for i in range of b if i power n in range a comma b plus 1 so count equal to count plus 1 then i am returning the count so you can see the output when i gave n here power power as 3 no no i am just going to say that yes In value as 3 here 1 as a first number till this thing is the end number so that's what we are giving here also you can see the output we got 8 here 
you can see one so this is what we have to do right here power is a n then we are just using the range function so little bit tricky but you can get it once you practice it so for me also it's not that easy to just get in into my brain once i did that's not the case i also need to practice okay here problem 3 create a function that returns a premier primoral of a number primoral of a number a primoral is a product of the first n prime numbers here you can see so these are all prime numbers right 2 3 5 7 11 13 prime numbers means which are not so these numbers only like 2 comes only in 2 table 3 comes in only 3 table 5 comes in only 5 table with the table like that these are prime numbers if n was 3 so you would be multiply 2 into 3 into 5 so i am getting 30 like that so if n is 4 we have to multiply 2 3 5 7 like that so n will tell us how many numbers we have to multiply how many prime numbers so here you can see here i'm just creating a function so i'm just taking the input from the user so if it is equals to 2 then return true for rem in range of 2 comma input int of input into so this is a power 0 0.1 plus 1 then here i'm again using if statement input percentile rem equals to equals to 0 then return false here written true so primal number here is another function here num equals to 2 result equals to 1 count equals to 0 here i am using while loop underneath i am using if condition so while count less than number check prime number so count equals to count plus one result equals to result into num num equals to num plus one here i'm just going to result return the result so let me check this thing so we got this so for three we got 30 now we are moving to problem number four create a function that tells whether a given substring is cyclic in a larger original string consider a string principal and imagine all these letters occupying a round table a string such as i p a l p can be considered as a cyclic substring of length phi of the original string principal essentially cyclicity seems from any situation in which you find a string of length m such that all the letters are sitting together and they can be traversed in a clockwise direction and m less than n where n is the length of the original string so this is what you can see here i'm just going to create a function called check cyclic here i'm just passing the string and the substring if substring in 2 multiply with the string print yes the substring is cyclic of length length of substring so in else you can see the substring is not cyclic i'm just going to run this thing here check cyclic principal comma ipal p so yes substring is cyclic of length phi so this is what we are having in this project in this self project yeah now 
you can just practice these problems so try to do your research on each one of the problem okay then you can understand in a better way that's what i can say and that's it for now meet you next video till then bye bye